Hey team, welcome back to this channel and if you're new here then my name's Stuart and I'm glad you could join us today. Now following on from last week's email signature guide for Gmail, today we're going to dive into how to add an email signature in Outlook. This is a brief process that only takes a few minutes and in this tutorial I'll also share tips for creating your professional email signature if you haven't already created one. Now guys, just quickly before we dive into Outlook, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to grow your small business online. And with that happy note, let's go ahead and add your email signature to Outlook. <music> Okay guys, so here we are in our Outlook inbox. Now what we want to do is go ahead and simply add our email signature within Outlook. So how do we go ahead and do that? Well, what we need to do is simply navigate up to settings. So the setting icon up here and then just navigate down to view all Outlook settings. Then as you can see, we already have mail selected. What we want to do is click on compose and reply. And this is where we can go ahead and add our email signature. So create a signature that will be automatically added to your email messages. Now again, similar to Gmail, we have formatting options available up here for you to go ahead and actually create your email signature here. However, what we're going to do is actually head over to a tool called Design Hill and create a free professional business email signature through this tool. However, if you already have an email signature, then just go ahead and paste it in the space provided or go ahead and create your own email signature. However, what we're going to do is quickly head over to Design Hill and copy our email signature that we've already created. Okay, so here we are on Design Hill's email signature generator. Now this is a free email signature generator that allows you to quickly create an email signature similar to the one that I've developed here. Now, if you want to create your own email signature with Design Hill, then what we'll do is link a tutorial up above that will guide you through a beginner's tutorial showing you how to create your own email signature similar to the one we have down here. The importance of using Design Hill to create your email signature as opposed to creating your own through, say, a Word document or through design is that your email signature is already going to be formatted for any type of email inbox. Whereas if you go ahead and create your own email signature using the formatting options within Outlook, then your email signature might look slightly unformatted depending on the email inbox type that you send to. So what I'm going to do is quickly go ahead and copy this by coming down and clicking copy signature. Then here I'm just going to quickly leave a testimony so I'm happy with that. I'm going to click exit. And just quickly, Design Hill also shows you how to install your email signature on all these different emails. So we've got Gmail, Outlook, Apple Mail, Yahoo, Thunderbird, iPhone, iPad, Outlook, and Office 365. So if you have any of these other ones, you can go ahead and read how to install your email signature on these email clients. So what I'm going to do now is head back to our email signature within our Outlook account. And here we are back in the space provided under email signature. What I'm going to do is paste from our clipboard. And as you can see, this is our email signature. Now, the last thing we want to do is actually delete this branding down here. Create your own email signature because if someone clicks on that, that's going to take them to Design Hill. I want to remove that because it's not very professional, is it? So now that that's removed, I have my email signature there. I'm happy with the look, the style. And the way that that has turned out. So what I'm going to do is now come down here to where it says automatically include my signature on new messages that I compose. So I'm going to go ahead and tick that one and then we also have automatically include my signature on messages I forward or reply to. Yes, I'm going to click that one too because this is a business account. I'm using this for business and as you can see we have our business signature. So once you're happy with your email signature, you've gone ahead and created your email signature with Design Hill or you've created your email signature with the formatting options available up here, then come down and click save. And now that we've saved our email signature, what I'm going to do is exit out of settings and then navigate over to new message to see if our email signature has appeared. And as you can see, we have our email signature down here. As you can see, it's very straightforward to actually go ahead and create your email signature 
and add that into Outlook. Now, if you want to know how to do this with Gmail, what we'll do is add the link up above. That will take you to how to add your email signature to Gmail. However, that is how simple it is to add your email signature to Outlook. And that is it guys for today's brief tutorial. Now, if you have any questions about email signatures, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And that way, I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.